ಓಂ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪ್ರಿಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರಂ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ನಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತೈ ನಮಃ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಗುಣಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವತೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಏ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ಜೀವಾಖ್ಯಾತ ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕೃಸು ಬಂತಾದಿರ್ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ಯಕ್ತಾದಂಡೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವ ಮಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ತಿ ಮೇ ಲೋಕಾಹ ಸಪ್ತ ದ್ವೀಪ ಚಿಮ್ಮಿತಿ okay so we were at uh, we just finished the sambandha vasha of uh, third chapter and in the end bhagwan bhashyakara said that there are two paths both lead to the same goal one leads directly jnana yoga or buddhi yoga leads directly to moksha whereas <coughs> karma yoga leads uh, vaya jnana yoga it leads it results in chitta shuddhi and there was a question about sanyasa as to uh, if sanyasa uh, is for jnana nishtha or rather for shravana manana nididhyasana then shravana manana nididhyasana being karyas uh, being uh, karmas shravana is also there is some kriya dhatu is involved therefore some kriya is involved shravana one is listening and to listen also there has to be some bheda and i have to consider myself an individual therefore uh, that is also a karma and uh, bhagwan bhashyakar had said earlier that there uh, there is an opposition between there is an opposition between karma and jnana in a way such that for for karma for anyone to do karma or even karma yoga one has to have kartrutva bhava and in jnana the kartrutva bhava is given up so there are multiple things here one uh, when i say kartrutva bhava or karta in most part it is true but kartrutvam cannot be zero otherwise if kartrutvam becomes zero really zero then there will be no acharyas also one who is an akarta completely akarta uh, cannot really teach as i am a teacher cannot teach even sampraday wouldn't have been there so there is another way to see it that kartrutva bhava is retained to only for uh, for the sampraday to continue other way to see it is that the prarabdha makes the sharira go ahead and do what it does so there are various ways it is explained but the fact is that uh, there is opposition between holding on to an individuality for one's own swartha and uh, holding on to it for shravana mana nididhyasana or to teach nididhyasana one way of nididhyasana is seclusion and another is ve uh, panchadashikara bhagwan vidyarnacharya says that even talking about brahma talking about brahma doing charcha uh, vidvat sabhas or teaching others all of this or discussing with others all of this is also part of nididhyasana that's another uh, way of nididhyasana but when karta himself is not there then it will uh, when kartrutva bhava completely goes away it resolves then that kind of a samadhi avastha where uh, even the kartrutvam is resolved there the person will go into uh, the 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 entire prapancha also resolves into the into brahman who is this atma brahmatma but it doesn't mean that one who is a jnani will necessarily be of that type or even for shravana also when one is doing it is only for shravana one has given up everything else so that is sanyasa so giving up everything withdrawal cannot be said for a desire one withdraws from all desires and atma being one own swarupa one cannot say that i am desiring myself although it appears selfish there but giving up everything for the sake of atma is not giving unto a desire it is not kartrutvam at all that way so therefore shravana mana nidhyasana is also being for the purpose of purushartha which is one's own nature not doing anything else to remain in swarupa all that pursuit 
does not need real kartrutvam so kartrutvam will look at in that sense where one considers the karaka bheda so karta bhokta when kartrutvam is meant bhoktrutvam comes along with it and karaka bheda is there all the accessories which are needed for yajna ityadi all those come into picture and that is the opposition phala bheda is also there there one desires phala which is different from oneself and in jnana one desires phala which is oneself which is not really a uh, fructification it is not a production we saw last time that it is not utpatti it is not vikarya it is not uh, purification also so there are four ways in which the phala is brought about for a uh, person who has kartrutva bhava and is indulging in karma whereas for jnana there is no real production of phala because it is praptasya prapti praptasya prapti hi jnane na bhavati and apraptasya prapti hi karmana bhavati so there also phala bheda is also there so there is difference in karaka bheda is are there phala bheda is that means are different there are there is nothing which is common the only commonality between karma when it becomes karma yoga and jnana is that sequentially in sequence the karma karma yoga will also lead to buddhi yoga and thereby jnana or moksha so uh, i discussed this since there was a question uh, outside the class anyway so jnan karma no ekam vad nischite iti cha eka vishaya prarthana anupamana all these impossibilities are shown of uh, interpreting samuchaya jnan karma samuchaya is shown to be faulty and after showing that uh, in the end it is said that arjuna's not only arjuna's question would not be valid bhagwan's answer would also not be valid so ekam vad nischitya if both have been said to be followed then arjuna cannot ask you tell me only one because he has told you both if he has told you both then you follow both ekam vad nischitya uh, here if you think that okay because he told two that's why both you follow both but uh, arjuna is saying you tell me one that also aropa cannot be done although bhagwan bhashakara does not talk about it but one may make an aropa that ekam vad nischit because arjuna is saying you tell me one that means he has told two both but it is not both together otherwise both together would have been one path that you both you do both both follow both of this karma yoga and jnana yoga together buddhi yoga he didn't say that otherwise it would have been one single mixed path but he told two different paths and they both lead to the same goal whoever is ready for whichever path one should take to that right now so karmani eva adhikaraste he said and therefore this question wouldn't be valid ekam vada nischite in the second shloka and iti cha eka vishaya prarthana anupapanna this kind of a request would not be right by arjuna when ubhayo samuchaya sambhave if both uh, put together was where to be possible and that was taught in the second chapter if that was taught in the second chapter kuru karmayo tasmatvam and in fourth chapter bhagwan krishna told arjuna that he is going to tell arjuna that you do karma only karma means karma yoga you follow karma yoga therefore you follow karma yoga iti cha jnana nishta sambhavam arjunasya avadharanena darshayishyati and he will show this he will show this path to arjuna that jnana nishta sambhavam that jnana nishta is not possible for you now sambhavam it is not possible for you jnana nishta if you follow jnana even if you think that you have got jnana still it will not culminate in nishta you will have lot of obstacles because your kshatriya vasanas will not let you go into jnana nishta you will have to complete your journey you will finish off what is uh, what has come to you by prarabdha you undergo that and do it as an offering to the lord so therefore arjuna watch in this background bhagwan start teaching the third chapter uh, with the questions by arjuna arjuna uvacha jay si chet karmanaste mata buddhir janardana tat kin karmani ghore mam niyojaya si keshava so jay si yasun pratya comparative and comparative jay si chet if if chet karmana panchami in comparison to karma if 
इन युअर ओपिनियन ते मता ते तव तव मता तव मता इन युअर ओपिनियन बुद्धि ही बुद्धि सु बुद्धि इस स्त्रीलिंगा देवर मता इस आल्सो स्त्रीलिंगा मता बुद्धि इस कंसिडर तव प्रत्यांता एंड इन स्त्रीलिंगा देवर मता if buddhi buddhi means buddhi yoga is mata considered uh, in your opinion so in is considered uh, for you if buddhi is considered to be jayasi superior to karma in comparison to karma then he janardana o janardana then so tat kim tat is an avyaya here which will mean tat is तत्त्वन स्तर ही, then in that case, so तत्त्वन, then किम किम इस किमर्थम, then why, for what purpose, so किमर्थम कर्मणि घोरे कर्मणि माम नियोजयसि हे केशव, ओ केशव, in that case why would you push me into this terrible karma, नियोजयसि मध्यम पुरुष एक वचन मध्य पुरुष एक वचन माम नियोजसी एंड वाई डू यू डायरेक्ट मी नियोजसी वाई आर यू एंजॉइंग इन टू दिस सो माम बिकम्स कर्म आई एम कर्मा देर अर्जुन इज कर्मा माम एंड वेर घोरे कर्मणि इन टेरिबल एक्शन घोरे कर्मणि सामान आदि करण सो हे जनार्दन ते मता सो लेट्स सी ते मता बुद्धि ही कर्मणा हा कर्मणा हा सकाशात कर्मणा हा बुद्धि ही ते मता जायसी चेत जायसी चेत सो जायसी भवती चेत सो इफ कर्मणा हा बुद्धि ही ते ते मता कर्मणा हा बुद्धि ही जायसी चेत और कर्मण तेमता सो तेमता कर्मण कर्मण तेमता बुद्धि ही जायसी चेत इफ बुद्धि इज सुपीरियर देन इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी सुपीरियर इन योर ओपिनियन इन कंपेरिजन टू वॉट इन कंपेरिजन टू कर्म एंड कर्म हियर इज कर्म योगा बुद्धि इज ज्ञान योगा देन देन ओ केशव हे केशव केशव घोरे कर्मणि माम माम किम किमर्थम नियोजयसी व्हाई डू यू एंगेज मी इन दिस एक्शन व्हाई यू बाइंड मी टू दिस काइंड ऑफ अ टेरिबल एक्शन लेट मी गो टू ड्रॉप कर्मा एंड लेट मी गो टू ज्ञान योगा किंच फर्दर व्यामिश्रेणे वाक्ये न बुद्धिमो यह सीव में तदेकं वदनिष्चित्य ये न श्रेयो मापनुयाम फर्दर इसे व्यामिश्रेण एव एव व्यामिश्रेण एव इस व्यामिश्रेण इव व्यामिश्रेण किसी व्यामिश्रेण इव इव वाक्ये न बुद्धिम मोहयसी इव अगेन मोहयसी मध्यम पुरुष एक वचन इव एस दो तत एकम वधन इच्छित्य ये न श्रेय हा अहम् आपनुयाम स्वयामिश्रेण इव एस दो इव सो इव लाइक लाइक व्हाट्स लाइक समथिंग सो तृतीया इन इन दैट कंपैरिजन ऑफ विद इव इट इट विल गो विद तृतीया सो व्यामिश्रणे व्याक्येन एंड व्याक्येन व्यामिश्रणे व्याक्येन थ्रू दिस सी बुद्ध लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द वर्ब ओके आई ऑलवेज टेल यू बट आई स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट सो मोहयसी मोहयसी तम मोहयसी यू आर deluding eva as though deluding what are you deluding 
So buddhi is the karma to that second case. You are confusing the buddhi. Here buddhi is obviously not buddhi yoga. Buddhi is his intellect. Arjuna's intellect as though. You are not really confusing. Why are you not really confusing? Because, oh Krishna, you are, uh, I have submitted unto you as a guru. And I will do whatever you guide me to do. However, I am confused and it is as though you are confusing me. It appears as though you are confusing me because you have not given me a clear direction as to what to do. You are just telling me what is Karma Yoga, what is Jnana Yoga, but you are not telling me uh, that you do this because my thinking is that you will tell me which is superior and you are praising Jnana, but you are praising Jnana or Buddhi Yoga and you are telling me to do Karma. Therefore, as though you are confusing me. If you had told me karma is superior and then you do karma, then I would not have been confused. Therefore, having said that you do karma and telling me parallelly that buddhi is superior, jaya si chet, in, in your consideration, then why should you push me into action? So that is the reason that I am as though confused. I am confused, not as though confused. I am confused, but you are confusing me as though. You may not be confusing me, but I am confused. Therefore, he says, Eva, as though, Mohaya Siva, Buddhim. And due to what reason? What is what is the uh, Hetu for that? Or what is the instrument that is causing this Buddhi to be deluded, confused? Vakyana, through this. So, through using this Vakya, whatever you have taught me in the second chapter, through these Vakyas, which are Vyamishrena Iva, they are, the, the, the Vakyas are also as though mixed up with, in each other. You have mixed up, the you have not segregated them well as to, you know, see, this is for, good for you and this is Shreshta, you do this. You have, they are as though mixed up. This, you are praise, you are talking about Karma Yoga also, you are talking about Jnana Yoga also, whether as I asked you, what should I do? Therefore, Vyamishrena Iva, as though mixed up, they are not really mixed up. The statements are clear, clearly separate, but they are as though mixed up for me because I don't see, I don't have clarity as to these statements are, this is what it means, this means this and uh, Karma Yoga is meant for you and Karma Yoga is Shreshta. I don't see that clearly, therefore, Vyamishrena Iva, as though mixed up, through the statements, which are as though mixed up, you are as though confusing me. So he uses Eva twice, so as he does, so as to show respect, you know, he is showing respect that I am deluded. Indirectly what is he saying? That I have not understood these instructions clearly because I don't see how is it that you who want the best for me are still giving me something which is inferior. This is the idea there. So I can't see it. I, I don't say that you are giving me inferior, but I feel so. I feel that you, although you are interested in the best for me, but still you are telling me to do something which my mind sees as inferior. So Vyamishrene Vakyena Buddhi Mohesi Iva Me Me Buddhi Mohesi Me Mama Tatkim Tad ekam, sorry, tad ekam vada nishchitya, vada, again madhya purusha ek vachana lot lakara, ekam vada, ekam is karma to vada, ekam vada nishchitya, having ascertained, you do all the work, just tell me what to do, you think over and you tell me what to do, so yena, yena margena, so ekam vada, yena ekena, so once you tell me yena ekena, aham apunyam, I I attain, I karta aham, apnuyam uttam purusha ek vachana. So, I, through which I would attain. What would I attain? Shreya. So, Shreya being neuter, in first case and second case, it, it uh, declines similarly. So, Shreya is karma. Second case, aham shreya apnuyam. Yena aham shreya apnuyam tad Ekam vada nishchi. So, tad is not, uh, this, this tad is neuter and this is what? Tad ekam vada. So, we can take this as, we can make the anvaya in this manner that 
this will remain as it is vyamishrena iva vakyena tvam buddhim mohayasi si iva mohayasi iva and me buddhim me muddhim mohayasi iva so we can say tvam we can put in the beginning as a karta tvam vyamishrena iva vakyena me buddhim mohayasi iva and generally uh, sentence should end in verb but if you see iva since iva um, goes with the verb so it can end with iva as though mohayasi you are not really deluding you are as though deluding therefore it, it can end with iva and uh, ekam vada nishchitya yena so we can say yena aham shreyaha apnuyam through which I would attain Shreya. Yena margena. Tad ekam vada. So that you tell me tad ekam vada. Ekam vada nishchitya vada. Tad ekam nishchitya vada. We can say tad ekam nishchitya vada. So yena aham Shreya apnuyam tvam. So vada, vada will take karta in in madhya purusha therefore tvam vada tvam tad ekam tat is what tat is this yad yena and tat yad and tat will go in samana dikran so yena ham shreya apnuya yena margena among this these two which you are telling me yena karmana uh, or buddhyava so karmana buddhyava aham yena karmana buddhyava aham shreya apnu apnuya tvam tat karma va buddhi va so karma karma va buddhim va ekam nishchitya vada you tell me one you ascertain and tell me this is the anvaya here prashnaru prashnanu rupam prashna anurupam anurupam means following in keeping with what prashna prashnanu rupam eva prativachanam the answer prativachanam is in keeping with Prashna, it is not that uh, he has asked something, Arjuna has asked something and Bhagavan has replied something else. In which case you could have said, he is telling the Purva Pakshi, in that case you can make an Aropa that Arjuna did not understand but Bhagavan taught Samuchya. That is not so because answer is in keeping with the question. Therefore, that means that Krishna saw the question as valid and he answered it. He didn't say that you are wrong, I have taught you samuchya and that you are asking me, teach me one which is better for me, that is not true. So, prashnanu rupam eva prativachanam shri bhagavan uvacha, bhagavan uvacha, prativachanam uvacha, he gave the answer in keeping with the question. Shri bhagavan uvacha, loke smindhivida nishtha pura prokta mayanagh, jnana yogena sankhyanam karma yogena yoginam. So, you have seen this. Yalla didn't format this, but three dot three third shloka. So he says, Bhagavan says, we have seen this shloka earlier in in the uh, introduction. We had seen this when he was telling the Puro Pakshi as to two. Uh, Paths, so to say, have been taught by Bhagavan. What are these? They are Vividha Nishta. There are two Nishtas which I have taught by me. He Maya Anagha. So, uh, Anagha. He Anagha. Maya. He Anagha. Anagha is, uh, Anagha is without Papa. One who does not have Papa. One who is bereft of Papa. He is addressed as Anagha. He Anagha. He Arjuna. So the Sambodhana Vibhakti. He Anagha. 
लोके अस्मिन लोके इन दिस वर्ल्ड अस्मिन लोके अस्मिन लोके मया द्विविधा द्विविधा विधा दिस धा इज टेलिंग यू द टाइप टाइप्स हाउ मेनी टाइप्स टू फोल्ड निष्ठा देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ निष्ठा पूरा प्रोक्ता प्रकर्षेण उक्ता दे आर टॉट दे आर टॉट बाय मी पूरा अर्लियर अर्लियर प्रोक्ता मया बाय मी टू टाइप टू पाथ हैव बीन टॉट सो भगवान एज ईश्वरा हैज टॉट ब्रह्मा वेन द सृष्टि हैपन दैट टाइम ही टॉट टू पाथ In fact, uh, if you recall Bhagwan Bhaskara in his introduction, initially in his introduction itself, he had said, uh, "Sim Mari Chadin Agre Srustwa Prajapatin Pravrutti Lakshanam and then uh, Nivrutti Lakshanam." Then he also, they see si, Sanaka Sanaka uh, Sanaka Sanaka Adin Utpadya Nivrutti Lakshanam Dharmam. Which is Jnana Vairagya Lakshanam. So initially itself, Bhagavan Bhaskara has set up a uh, foundation for teaching Gita or Gita Bhaskara. He said that initially, during creation itself, Bhagavan has made twofold divisions, and this is the time when, during creation itself, he has created two uh, types of people. Types as in uh, who are interested in pravritti or nivritti. They are interested in engaging in karma. or they have vairagya in the beginning itself so thereby uh, there are two categories in beginning itself and he has taught these paths therefore he has created such people he has created these marich marichyadin agre sushta initially he created those prajapatin and pravrutti lakshana dharma he taught them pravrutti uh, lakshana dharma then sanaka sanananda din he taught them nivrutti lakshana dharma so that is what he is saying here पूरा प्रोक्ता पूरा इनिशियली इट सेल्फ ड्यूरिंग क्रिएशन लोके अस्मिन लोके द्विधा निष्ठा प्रोक्ता मया पूरा इन द बिगिनिंग हे अनघ एंड व्हाट आर दोज ज्ञान योग संख्या नाम एंड हु आर दी संख्या सनक सनंदा दिन सो सनक सनंद दीज आर दी पीपल हु ही इनिशियली टॉक एंड दैट कंटिन्यूज इवन टिल टुडे ज्ञान योग संख्या नाम दोज हु आर संख्या विच हैज बीन डिफाइंड इन द सेकेंड चैप्टर For them, Jnana Yoga is the way. So through Jnana Yoga, Nishtha is taught, and then Yogi Nam for Karma Yogis, Marichi Tyari Prajapati, for them Karma Yogi Nam, and that continues today. Whoever is interested in karma, they should continue to do karma, and that karma should be offered unto the Lord for Chitta Shuddhi, and then through Jnana Yoga, they when they become Sankhyas. through jnana yoga they can get moksha this is how the two fold division has been taught by me said bhagwan in the beginning itself so asmin loke vividha nishtha pura prokta maya by me he anagha jnana yogena sankhya nam for sankhyas through jnana yoga nishtha through jnana yoga and karma yogena योगी नाम फॉर योगीज कर्म योगीज हे अनघ अस्मिन लोके पुरा अर्लियर इट सेल्फ पुरा मया द्विविधा निष्ठा प्रोक्ता और यू कैन से पुरा प्रोक्ता both with prokta what are those jnana yogena sankhya nam okay so okay caps lock is on kya nam कर्म योगेन योगी नाम यू कैन इवन से कैन एड दीस ज्ञान योगेन द्विविधा मया यू कैन पुट दिस इन कोटेशन हे अनघ अस्मिन लोके पुरा मया ज्ञान मया पुरा मया पुरा 
by me uh, initial itself initial itself jnana yogena sankhya nam karma yogena yogi nam iti so you can add this and say iti iti dividhanishta what are these two types instead of adding them again later iti dividhanishta prokta so you can add iti in this manner these these uh, two nishtas were taught prokta so prokta further bhagwan bhashakara introduced the connection to the fourth shloka by saying maam cha bandhakarane karmani eva niyojesi iti vishanna manasam arjunam karmana arabhe ityevam manvanam alaksha ah bhagwan so bhagwan knows what is going on in arjuna's mind even uh, sanjaya knows sanjaya has been blessed, blessed with divya drishti by maharshi vyasa not only to see what is happening on the field and hear what is uh, going on in the battlefield but to know the manasthiti of each and every person so to know what is going on in in the mind and bhagwan obviously knows it so bhagwan uh, is looking at arjuna he bhagwan ah bhagwan said alaksh looking at arjuna who is thinking manvanam who is thinking in this manner how iti evam bhagwan is going to answer arjuna considering his state of mind one who is thinking in this manner and what is arjuna's thinking that is given in quotations here maam cha bandhakarane karmani this ghore karmani niyojesi and what is this ghoratvam there this is going to cause bondage bandhakarana because it is terrible this terrible action is going to bring lot of papa and i will be this is what arjuna is thinking bandhakarane maam cha karmani niyojesi in what ghore karmani and that is bandhakarana therefore bandhakarane karmani tvam niyojesi iti vishanna manasam vishanna manasam vishanna this is shadrul dhatu vi purvaka shadrul dhatu sad sad dhatu basically so after you remove all the uh, it letters you will get sad dhatu vi purvaka sad dhatu and ta pratya that ta pratya becomes na here it will become na so vishannam vishannam is nishtanta so this vishannam vishanna is nishtanta so manah manasam vishanna manasam is a samasa so bahuri obviously bahuri so nishta purva bahuri hau विषण्ण मनसम अर्जुन सो विषण्ण मन यर्जुन से सह अर्जुन विषण्ण मनस एंड नॉट मनस विषण्ण मना इट विल बिकम विषण्ण मना लाइक नचिकेत सकारांत इट विल बिकम सकारांत इन पुल्लिंग सकारांत इन पुल्लिंग विल बिकम विषण्ण मनसा मना विषण्ण मना लाइक नचिकेता सो विषण्ण मना तम विषण्ण मनसम इन सेकेंड केस इट बिकम विषण्ण मनसम arjunam arjunam alaksha who is manvanam who is thinking how what is he thinking actually he think karman arabhe and he is also thinking this and this is the reason for him to uh, think that karma na arabhe aham na arabhe i am not going to engage in this karma i'll not start the battle i'll not start fighting at all and this is the reason uh, this this initial part is iti vishanna manasam so he is depressed vishanna is one who has, uh, vishanna is depression uh, de depressed not depression depressed ta bhute depressed and mind is depressed so one who has a depressed mind that arjuna whose mind is depressed and how is it depressed by this thinking mamcha bandha karane karmani eva niyojasi not karmani eva by eva eva kara bhagwan bhashya kara is saying that not along with dhyana mind you no samuchya there because such samuchya is not only uh, taught it is not even possible so he says that only uh, sequentially it is possible maam cha bandhakarane karmani eva niyojesi iti vishanna manasam arjunam karman arabhe iti evam manvana so one who is thinking in this manner that i'll not begin to fight considering that kind of a person that kind of a shishya arjuna bhagwan is saying na karmana anarambhat 
iti. So he is going to say in the fourth shloka, na karmanam anarambha iti. Atava, so he is considering that he is teaching. Other paksha is what, this is one possibility that Bhagavan Bhashyakara says, otherwise or jnana karma nishthayo ho paraspara virodhat ekena purushena yugapat anushthatum ashakyatve sati itare etara anapekshayo ho eva purushartha hetutve prapte sati karma nishthaya, karma nishthaya yajnya, sorry, there is this prapte, this font is an issue, so it is prapte. Okay, I'll put some space here. Uh, yeah, so there is a, a font issue here. So, prapte sati. Let's say prapte sati. Athava, otherwise. So, one, one possibility is what? Bhagavan is looking at uh, Arjuna who has a depressed mind. And he is saying that I am not going to fight. Iti evan manmanu. That is one paksha. And therefore, Bhagavan is teaching what? Na karmanan. Na karmanam anarambhat naishkarmyam purushoshnute nacha sanyasana deva siddhim samadhikachati. So we look at the shloka and come back atva. So what is he teaching? One paksha in one paksha. Na karmanam anarambhat. From that, I mean, na karmanam anarambhat. From not beginning, anarambha. From anarambha, purusha na, na here will go with ashnute, na ashnute. Purushaha na ashnute. What? Naishkarmyam. So, naishkarmyam na ashnute. Okay, let me put this in perspective. Okay. Karmanam, so this na karmanam anarambhat naishkarmyam purushaha Ashnute, na here will go with na ashnute, na ashnute. Purushaha naishkarmyam na ashnute. From what karmanam anarambhat. Karmanam is shashti, shashti bhavachana. From anarambha, anarambhat, from anarambha, nanjitat purusha, from, from not beginning. So you can say from not beginning, meaning what? From not doing action. From not beginning karma, karma here is uh, the fight in the battlefield and in out, uh, basically taking Arjuna as a nimitta is teaching everyone. So by not indulging in action, one will not get naishkarmya. How will naishkarmya is what? Naishkarmyam, naishkarmyam is what? Nishkarmasya bhavaha naishkarmyam. Naishkarmyam. Naishkarmyam is what? Nishkarma. Nishkarma means not having any karma. One who is Krutakritya will not have any karma. But to be Krutakritya, you cannot drop, drop karma. Krutakritya, one will become Krutakritya means he will not even have the need to do anything when he will attain everything that is to be attained through karma. When he knows that karma cannot give me everything, it can give me Chitta Shuddhi, and whatever phala it gives me, that will be, if I crave for phala which is for karma, then that can give me limited results. And thereby, I will never become Kritakritya. If I keep on doing karma the way I have been doing across so many janmas endlessly, I am still not Kritakritya, then karma is not the way to becoming Kritakritya. So looking at this limitation, one will give up karma only after Chitta Shuddhi. Otherwise, he is neither here nor there. Therefore, Karmanam Anarambhat, by not beginning any action means by not engaging any in any action, one will not get this Nishkarmasya Bhava, Nishkarmanaha Bhava, nish, nish, Naishkarmyam one will not get. One will not become Krita Kritya. So, this, based on this word, uh, Bhagavan Sureshwaracharya has written the entire uh, work called uh, Naishkarmi Siddhi, which uh, Bhagavan Bhashyakara asked him to write an independent work when there was a tussle between the Shishyas as to why is uh, so Mandana Mishra uh, uh, was a Puro Vimamsaka and Bhagavan Bhashyakara won over him in a, in, a, in a debate. And the condition in the debate was if uh, Shankaracharya loses, then he will give up Sanyasa, and if Mandari Mishra, who is a Grahastha, he loses, then he will take to Sanyasa. Bhagavan Bhashyakara wins over and then uh, Mandar Mishra takes to Sanyasa who became Sureshwaracharya. Now his other Shishya thought, Shankaracharya's other Shishya thought that 
as a uh, as an earlier uh, karma kandi puro mimamsa ka sureshwaracharya will not do justice to uh, the jnana kanda on vedanta if he write something he will not do justice therefore on bhashya when something was being written on brahma sutra that time uh, they objected to it saying that he may be still be biased with because he, even if he lost he may have lost and taken to sanyasa but he may not have committed to jnana completely because his purva uh, uh, karma kanda vasana may still be there and then thereby he may not do justice to jnana this was the aropa done by other shishya so bhagwan bhashakara says okay i don't want this fight he says that you write an independent work let them see you write something independently as to what is your uh, understanding and what would you would like to teach after what you have learned from me so he wrote naishkarmya siddhi and there he if you read naishkarmya siddhi he uh, bashes up uh, puro pakshis who are puro mimamsakas so you cannot make an aropa that he wa- he has bias towards uh, uh, puro mimamsa he does not he did not then because he took sanyasa with complete commitment not that he lost he was happy to lose because uh, he was sure that what is the path to moksha now and he was wrong earlier so that is that naishkarmyam nishkarmana bhav one who does not have any karma left to do that cannot happen by just giving up karma so just by giving up karma you can you do not become a krutakritya you do not get everything that karma can bring because uh, there is still rasa for them we want the results and then we give up karma that will bring nothing so for chitta shuddhi you have to indulge in karma offer them to the lord learn vairagya there come to sanyasa when it is prapta so therefore just by dropping karmas purushah naishkarmyam na ashnute na cha sanyasana deva and just by taking sanyasa siddhim na samadhi gachyati purushah just by taking sanyasa so sanyasana deva only by taking sanyasa siddhi is not attained one will not become krutya kritya by giving up karma and by taking sanyasa one will not get siddhi for siddhi you have to work that siddhi is moksha prapti is the ultimate siddhi and that is your own swarupa it is the attainment of the ever attained and that cannot be attained by dropping karma or taking karma it can be attained only by jnana and that mere sanyasa will not bring it and just saying that na arabhe karma na arabhe by that also you will not get siddhi this is what bhagwan is teaching so that is one possibility due to one possibility means teaching is same but why he is teaching that either because uh, he knows that karma na arabhe is is it uh, is the result of thinking that maam cha bandha karane karmani eva niyojesi अथवा अदरवाइज ज्ञान कर्म निष्ठयो हो परस्पर विरोधात ड्यू टू परस्पर मीन्स म्यूचुअली ड्यू टू म्यूचुअल कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन विरोध बिटवीन ज्ञान एंड कर्म ज्ञान एंड कर्म हाउ ज्ञान निष्ठा एंड कर्म निष्ठा देर आर टू कमिटमेंट्स देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ कमिटमेंट्स वन इज टू ज्ञान वन इज टू कर्म एंड बिटवीन टू निष्ठा वन हू इज कमिटेड टू ज्ञान cannot be committed to karma at the same time and one who is committed to karma cannot be committed to jnana at the same time therefore yugapat paraspara virodha is is uh, is mutual paraspara virodha is paraspara paraspara means uh, from both sides there is virodha they oppose each other they are opposite to each other contradictory both ways therefore what tasmat karana so paraspara virodha hetu ho that, that due to that reason ekena purushena yugapat by one person yugapat yugapat is simultaneously adverbial yugapat anusthatum ashakyatve sati when it is known because of mutual contradiction between karma nishtha and jnana nishtha which is taught here nishtha dvividha nishtha karma nishtha and jnana nishtha are dvividha nishthas and both are paraspara viruddha viruddha and then since they are paraspara viruddha ekena purushena yugapat anusthatum ashakyatvam is there ashakyatve sati when there is uh, impossibility of practicing them together when there is an impossibility of one person of their being practiced together by one person so literal by one person ekena purushena 
Pashakyatve Sati, when this impossibility is attained, logically, Iteretra Anapekshayo Ho Eva Purushartha Hetu Tve Prapte Sati. Then what is Prapta? Then Iteretra Anapekshayo Ho Eva Purushartha Hetu Tve. The Purushartha Hetu, Purushartha is Moksha, final Purushartha is Moksha. And now one can say that Bhagavan has taught two paths. Bhagavan has taught Dvedha Nishtha, Jnana Nishtha and Karma Nishtha, both are opposed to each other, both lead to moksha, therefore both independently lead to moksha. This can be a logical conclusion. So, iti prapte sati. What is prapta now? Purushartha hetutva. Purushartha being the cause of purushartha, moksha, by, is prapta for, for whom? For for karma as well as jnana nishta, since they are two different paths, samuchya is not possible, yugapath it is not possible, simultaneously one cannot do both. But both these nishtas have been taught, therefore both are for moksha independently. Itar etara anapeksha yo ho, jnana nishta yo ho, karma nishta yo cha, itar etara anapeksha yo ho. Eva, indeed when both have the status of being, Hetu for Purushartha, meaning Moksha independently. If this is the conclusion attained, Prapte, when this kind of a conclusion is attained, Karma Nishthayaha, uh, Jnana, so there is a space, Karma Nishthayaha, Jnana Nishtha Prapta Hetu Tvena Purushartha Hetu Tvam. Then, it is not true that directly both will need, lead to Moksha. Karma Nishthayaha, Jnana Nishtha Prapti Hetu Tvena Purushartha Hetu Tvam. True, Karma Nishtha will also lead to Moksha, but not directly. Jnana Nishtha Prapti Hetu Tvena. As a Hetu for Jnana Nishtha Prapti. Without Karma Nishtha, as in Karma Yoga Nishtha, one cannot have Chitta Shuddhi. And without Chitta Shuddhi, Jnana Nishtha is not possible. That's why what has been said initially by Bhagavan Bhashyakara, here he had said, Jnana Nishtha Asambhavam. Arjunasya Jnana Nishtha Asambhavam Avadharana Darshayishyati. He is going to say, Kuru Karma Tasmatvam. Bhagavan Bhashyakara is showing this because he, is, he, is, he, is, he knows that after the third shloka, one may wrongly conclude that independently both will lead to moksha. Independently both will not lead to moksha. One has a dependency of other. One has necessarily, see, necessarily jnana should be there in between moksha and karma. So he says karma, just by giving up karma, one will not get moksha. Just by taking sannyasa, one will not get moksha. One will get moksha only through jnana. And if two nishthas have been taught, they are both not independently reaching moksha. Jnana nishtha is reaching moksha, but karma nishtha is not reaching, moksha, reaching one moksha directly. One will be taken to moksha through jnana nishtha prapti. And jnana nishtha prapti hetu is what? What is the reason for attainment of jnana nishtha? Jnana is possible, but jnana nishtha is not possible. And without jnana nishtha, there is no moksha. Because jnana can be flickering. Without chitta shuddhi, jnana is not really jnana. Therefore, uh, Vidyaranacharya in Jivan Mukti Viveka, he makes stages. He calls someone who has this kind of a jnana, which will never culminate into Jnana Nishtha without Karma Yoga and one who has great gate crashed into this uh, Jnana Yoga party, he will not get Jnana Nishtha because Chitta Shuddhi is lacking. One may think that, see, these people become armchair philosophers. They'll say, yes, Tattvamasi, Aham Brahmasmi, all these Mahavakyas or Shastras also, if you quote, that is useless. Do, do you have Nishtha finally? Finally, the person, can he remain in Atmatvam? Without anything else, that Atmani Eva Nishtha, nothing else. There should be commitment unto nothing else finally. That is Nishtha. That Nishtha will not be there and therefore Vidyaranacharya calls that person Jnani Matra. So Jnani Matra one can become. One has Jnana but only what kind of Jnana? That Jnana which comes and goes, Agantuka. It will not remain. Therefore, uh, Chitta Shuddhi can happen only by Karma Nishtha, Karma Yoga. They say Shravana also bring, brings uh, Chitta Shuddhi, but just Shravana will not bring Chitta Shuddhi really. It will not bring fast because the person will have rasa for karma 
and karma phala that will not go that cannot be taken away by any amount of jnana just shravana will bring nothing there one has to have chitta shuddhi therefore karma nishtha yaha purushartha hetu tvam asti eva tarhi jnana nishtha prapti hetu tvena asti not directly <coughs> na sat na swatantrena स्वातंत्र्यन पुरुषार्थ हेतुत्व नास्ति कर्मनिष्ठाया कर्मनिष्ठाया पुरुषार्थ हेतुत्व अस्ती तरी ज्ञाननिष्ठा प्राप्ति हेतुत्व अस्त इट इज थ्रू ज्ञाननिष्ठा प्राप्ति हेतु फॉर ज्ञाननिष्ठा प्राप्ति हाउ एवर ज्ञाननिष्ठा इज डायरेक्ट ही सो रीजन फॉर मोक्षा ज्ञाननिष्ठा तो कर्मनिष्ठा उपाय लब्धात्मिका सती स्वातंत्र्यन पुरुषार्थ हेतु अन्य अनपेक्षा अन्यानपेक्षा मीन्स अन्य अनपेक्षा ज्ञाननिष्ठा वंस चित्तशुद्धि इज देअर कर्मनिष्ठा उपाय लब्धात्मिका सती सी बोथ नीड इच अदर बट नॉट फॉर मोक्षा फॉर मोक्षा ज्ञाननिष्ठा इज नीडेड बट ज्ञाननिष्ठा हैज डिपेंडेंसी ऑन कर्मयोगा इन विच वे बिकॉज ज्ञाननिष्ठा इट सेल्फ विल नॉट टेक प्लेस विदाउट कर्मयोगा सो कर्मयोगा इज नीडेड फॉर ज्ञाना टू टेक प्लेस and then jnana jnana nishtha to remain karma yoga is needed and through that once karma nishtha upaya karma nishtho upaya labdhatmika sati once this jnana nishtha is labdha through what labdhatmika sati when it is attained through karma nishtha upaya so karma nishtha is an upaya for getting jnana nishtha once that once that has already applied once jnana nishtha takes place then it does not need karma nishtha at all so sati swatantrena purushartha hetu hu anya anapeksha there is no dependency on anything else iti etam artham pradarshayishyan iti etam artham pradarshayishyan desire is of showing this wanting to show this iti etam artham this idea that karma nishtha is for jnana nishtha upaya and jnana nishtha does not have any dependency for moksha it depends on nothing else but karma nishtha ha- has a dependency for moksha on jnana nishtha it just it is just a cause for jnana nishtha it independently it cannot give moksha if you find a person who is doing so much of dana dharma or who is involved in karma yoga he is doing so much of seva but still without jnana moksha will not be there therefore he said na karmana manarambha नैष्कर्म्यम पुरुषाश्नुते न च संन्यसनाद सिद्धि समधिगछति विथ एनी ऑफ दीज आइडियाज इफ यू टेक दी श्लोका इज क्लियर न कर्मणा अनारंभा जस्ट बाय गिविंग अप कर्मा नैष्कर्म्यम पुरुष न अश्नुते पुरुष इज कर्ता देर फोर नैष्कर्म्यम सेकेंड केस न अश्नुते न च एंड नॉट इवन थ्रू जस्ट मियर संन्यास so this is an answer to another question which came up in the class at the end of the class last time which was just to give up uh, uh, just to not have uh, uh, pratyavaya dosha sanyasi will not have pratyavaya dosha can one take to sanyasa then that's not the reason for sanyasa it is seen here also siddhi will not be there even if you think pratyavaya will not apply so no point because siddhi will not be there if one does not suffer in this janma another janma one may suffer so purushah na ashnute one does not one na ashnute one will not attain what na ashnute karma is needed purushah naishkarmyam na ashnute karmyam what is naishkarmyam na ashnute due to what पुषा कर्मण अनारंभा नैष्कर्म्य न अश्नुते एंड न च संन्यसनाद सो संन्यसनाद संन्यसनाद अगेन दिस पुषा एव च सिद्धि न समधि गच्छति संपूर्वक अधिपूर्वक गम धातु गच्छति पुरुषा एज एन अनुवृत्ति हियर सो पुरुषः संन्यसनादेव 
ज्ञानरहितालक्षण पुषा न अगछति हेतवाकांक्षा आह वाई डू यू सी दैट इफ वन टेक्स टू संन्यास वन विल नॉट गेट सिद्धि सो कस्मा कारण पुनः कस्मा कारण ड्यू टू वॉट रीजन कर्म संन्यास कर्म संन्यास केवला केवला ज्ञानरहिता सो केवला ज्ञानरहिता कर्म संन्यास वॉट इज दन्यसना देव संन्यसना मीन ज्ञानरहिता संन्यासा दैट संन्यासा विच इज वॉट कर्म संन्यासा वन गिव्स अप कर्म एंड टेक संन्यासा बट देर इज नो ज्ञान केवला ज्ञानरहिता सो वन थिंग्स दैट आल गेट सिद्धि नो यू हैव टू अटेन ज्ञान सो फॉर श्रवण मनना निध्यासन इज नीडेड नाउ श्रवण इवन इफ इट टेक्स प्लेस विदउट चित्त शुद्धि वन विल नॉट गेट ज्ञान इवन इफ दैट ज्ञान कम्स ज्ञान विल बी फ्लिकरी वन विल नॉट गेट निष्ठा देर फोर नैष्कर्म्य लक्षण दैट सिद्धि विच इज वॉट नैष्कर्म्य लक्षण सिद्धि दैट सिद्धि विच इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय कृतकृत्य भाव नैष्कर्म्य वेन नथिंग एल्स नीड्स टू बी डन नॉट ओनली डज वन वॉन्ट टू डू एनिथिंग नथिंग एल्स इज नीडेड फॉर आनंद आनंद स्वरूप आनंद इज प्राप्त देर सो दैट इज मोक्ष नैष्कर्म्य लक्षण सिद्धि मीन द रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट ज्ञान निष्ठा पुरुष न अधिगछति वाय कस्मा कारण वाय डज वन गेट जस्ट बाय बाय ज्ञान रहिता केवला संन्यास कर्म संन्यास मात्र हेतवाकांक्षा वेन दिस कैंड ऑफ अ क्वेश्चनिंग हेतवाकांक्ष रीजन इज नीडेड देर कैन बी एर इंक्वायरी इन टू द रीजन क्वेश्चनिंग इन टू वॉट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड दिस वाई विल नॉट वन गेट बिकॉज यू आर सेंग दैट कर्म एंड ज्ञान कर्म एंड ज्ञान के नॉट गो टूगेदर बिकॉज कर्म नीड्स कर्तृत्व भाव एंड ज्ञान नीड्स गिविंग अप कर्तृत्व भाव एंड गिविंग अप कर्तृत्व भाव वन कैन टेक संन्यास सो वाई विल वन नॉट गेट दिस नैष्कर्म्य लक्षण सिद्धि वन शुड गेट इफ दिस इज द क्वेश्चन आई वॉन्ट टू नो द रीजन वाई भगवान भाष्यकार और इवन भगवान कृष्ण सेट दिस हेतवाकांक्षा आह न ही कश्चित क्षण जातु तिष्टत्य कर्म कृत कार्य ते ह्यवशक कर्म सर्व प्रकृति जय गुण ही सो आई जस्ट मेन्शन दिस श्लोका आई विल डू दी पदच्छेद इत्यादि इन दस्ट पाठ आई जस्ट मेन्शन दिस फॉर कंप्लीशन न ही कश्चित क्षण न ही कश्चित कश्चित पुरुष क्षण जातु तिष्ठति अकर्म कृत अकर्म कृत अकर्म कृत न तिष्ठति कश्चित अकर्म कृत न तिष्ठति क्षण नॉट इवन फॉर अ सिंगल मोमेंट वन कैन रिमेन विदउट कर्म सो विदउट डूइंग एनी कर्म अकर्म कृत न तिष्ठति क्षण इवन फॉर अ मोमेंट वन कैन रिमो बिकॉज यूर ब्रीदिंग इज ऑल्सो रियली अ कर्म सो इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट ब्रीदिंग इज ऑल्सो बट हियर वॉट इज ई सेंग एस्पेशली फॉर अर्जुन हू इज अ क्षत्रिय हियर ही मे मोमेंटरली गिव अप समथिंग अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ वॉट एवर इज हैपनिंग If he goes back to, let's say he goes to Bhiksha, hypothetical case. Let's say he goes to Bhiksha. Suddenly he hears something that his brothers are dying in the battle, or even his uh, somebody from any side is dying, and especially from his side, if his brothers are killed, what will be his reaction? Kshatriya is rajas pradhana, rajoguna pradhana, brahmana is sattva guna pradhana. and uh, vaishya is actually uh, see uh, uh, kshatriya is rajoguna pradhana but sattva is upasarjana sattva comes second and for a brahmana sattva comes primary and he is sattva guna pradhana but uh, rajoguna is secondary it is just below the sattva guna so if he gives more importance then uh, sattva although predominant he can indulge in activity so you have seen brahmanas have become kings also peshwa etc you have seen they also become kings kshatriyas also can work on their sattva and that secondary sattva can become primary and they have become rishis like vishwamitra has become brahmarshi who gave us gayatri who was vishwamitra was a vishwamitra was a kshatriya born kshatriya so 
but he had so much of anger the reason for vishwamitra to want to become a brahmana by guna by all these that uh, what vashishta did is because of this reason that he was that that kshatriya guna wouldn't go he wanted it for that ego he wanted it he tried again and again and arjuna's case will also be the same vaishya is vaishya has rajas as pradhana but he has tamas as secondary and in in the case of shudra tamas is primary and then uh, rajoguna is secondary so whatever is third leftover is third but here what will happen especially for arjuna where if he hear something about going wrong in his absence he would he would feel very guilty and angry about it that i should have fought the war so kashit shanam api kashit kashit api purusha nobody can remain without karma for even a moment and what will happen karma ha karyate hi avashaha san avashaha avashaha karma karyate karma it will make karma done whatever guna prakriti jair gunai hi karma karyate eva so this is karyate you can see this is karmani prayoga so karma karyate the karma is karma itself so work it will get done work will get done through what prakriti jai gunai hi guna these gunas which are sattva guna rajo guna and tamo guna but rajya guna became becoming pradhana for akshatriya here in this context and in other cases any sattva also it will get uh, purva mimamsaka who takes to sanyasa will want to do karma, karma in fact it is said after sanyasa brahmana when he takes sanyasa next day he will be looking for his uh, yajna pavita and shikha shikha is not there when he goes for a bath he does not know what to wash on his, on his head completely tonsured so that guna is still there a uh, hand will automatically go to tie the shikha yajna pavita is not there so he feels very odd no karma no, no sandhya vandana to do so any guna which is pradhana will make will make the person indulge in action therefore not even for a moment that sattva guna rajo guna or tamo guna whichever is pradhana at that moment for whichever varna it will not let go this person will be forced into action therefore arjuna also even if he decides i'll i'll take bhiksha and survive it will not happen bhagwan knows this he says that you do whatever you like in the end of uh, at the end of the gita in 18th chapter he says you do whatever you wish to do i have taught you everything but he knows what arjuna will do whether or not he has understood the teaching the gunas will take him to action only so nahi kashit kshana api jatu tishtati akarma krut akar akarma krut kashit api akarma krut na tishtati jatu kshana api even for a moment one will not remain uh, karma karyati avashah karyate sarvah all these will get done prakriti jair gune due to these gunas we'll see more of these we'll see vibhaktis and we'll see the anvaya in the next part om tat sat om shanti 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 any questions i took a yeah i took 6 minutes more any questions anyone anand is your uh, doubt clear okay no questions no response so i am assuming it is clear okay i'll see you in the next part ha huh? yeah namaste